हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल बिगिन मैकेनिक्स मैकेनिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स इन विच वी स्टडी अबाउट द फोर्सेस मोशन एंड देयर रिलेशनशिप इट हैज टू ब्रांचेस स्टैटिक्स एंड डायनामिक्स स्टैटिक्स इज द सेक्शन ऑफ मैकेनिक्स इन विच वी स्टडी अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्ट एट रेस्ट एंड डायनामिक्स इज दैट सेक्शन in which we study about the motion of the object and its various aspects dynamics has further two branches kinematics and kinetics in kinematics we study about the motion of the object without considering the factors causing the motion in kinematics the motion of an object can be described in terms of two fundamental physical quantities length and time and two derived physical quantities velocity and acceleration in kinetics we study about the motion of object along with the cause or causes of the motion first we will discuss kinematics when we talk about the term motion one more term comes into our mind that is rest what are the meanings of rest and motion when we say that uh, an object is at rest it means it does not change its position with respect to its surroundings with time and an object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surroundings with time as you already know rest and motion are relative terms an object could be at rest with respect to something and at the same time it could be in motion with respect to some other objects for example as everyone might have experienced a passenger sitting in a train is at rest with respect to the moving train but it is in motion with respect to the platform so here we are talking about the reference in the example we have observed the motion of the passenger from two references one is the moving train and the other is platform with this the concept of frame of reference becomes clear the place from where the motion of an object is observed and measured is called frame of reference we usually follow the cartesian system of coordinates as frame of reference in which we consider three coordinates x y and z along x axis y axis and z axis when we consider only any one coordinate to describe the change in the position of the object with time the motion of the object is called one dimensional motion two dimensional motion of an object is that which requires any two coordinates to describe the change in position of the object with time and when all the three coordinates specify the change in position of the object with time the motion of the object is called three dimensional motion there is one more important term that is a point object an object is considered to be a point object if it covers distances much greater than its own size in given time interval hence we consider even the earth or any other planet as point object while considering its motion around the sun the concept of point object simplifies the problems mathematically let us now talk about the types of motion one type is translatory motion a body is said to have translatory motion if each particle of body has same displacement in the same interval of time that is 
the constituent particles of the body move simultaneously along parallel straight lines and shift through equal distance in same time interval. When a point object moves along a straight line, its motion is known as rectilinear motion. Second type is rotatory motion. A body is said to have rotational motion if each particle of the body move in circles about an axis consisting of the centers of the circles. That is, all the constituent particles of the body move simultaneously along circular paths whose centers lie on the axis of rotation and move through equal angles in a given time interval. When a point object moves in a circle about its center, its motion is called circular motion. The third type of motion is oscillatory motion. A body is said to have oscillatory motion if it moves to and fro repeatedly about a fixed point called the mean position. If the amplitude of oscillation is extremely small, the motion is called vibratory motion. So, any type of motion means change in position of the object in certain time interval. In doing so, object travels through a path. The length of the actual path travelled by the object in a given time interval is called distance. There could be many distances between initial and final positions. And the shortest distance between the initial and final positions of the object is known as displacement. We are very familiar with the term speed. The speed of an object is the rate of change of position of the object. It is the total distance covered divided by the total time taken to cover that distance. When object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, the speed is known as uniform speed. The speed of object is variable if it covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time or equal distances in unequal intervals of time. We also talk about the average speed. When object moves with variable speed, like motion of any vehicle on road, the average speed is that constant speed with which the object would cover the same distance in given time as it does while moving with the variable speed during the given time. Average speed is the total distance covered divided by the time taken to cover the distance. Suppose an object covers distances S1, S2 and S3 with velocities V1, V2 and V3 respectively, then total distance travelled is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3. And total time taken is equal to S1 by V1 plus S2 by V2 plus S3 by V3. Since the speed is equal to distance by time, therefore time is equal to distance by speed. Now the average speed V average is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 divided by S1 by V1 plus S2 by V2 plus S3 by V3. If the object covers equal distances, that is S1 is equal to S2 is equal to S3 is equal to S, then average velocity is equal to 3S divided by S times 1 by V1 plus 1 by V2 plus 1 by V3, which is equal to 3 V1 V2 V3 divided by V1 V2 plus V2 V3 plus V3 V1. 
Suppose the object covers equal distances that is S1 is equal to S2 is equal to S with speeds V1 and V2. Then expression for average speed is equal to 2V1 V2 divided by V1 plus V2. As the speed is rate of change of distance, the same way velocity is the rate of change of displacement. The displacement divided by the time taken for the displacement is known as velocity. The unit of velocity is meter per second and its dimension is m to the power 0 l t to the power minus 1 or simply l t to the power minus 1. If the object undergoes equal displacements in equal intervals of time, then velocity is called uniform velocity. When object undergoes equal displacements in unequal time intervals or unequal displacements in equal time intervals or it changes direction of motion while moving with constant speed, then velocity is known as variable velocity. When body moves with variable velocity, its average velocity is defined as the displacement divided by the time taken for the displacement. Let the object be at point A at an instant t1 and at point B at time t2. Then displacement delta x is equal to x2 minus x1 and time interval delta t is equal to t2 minus t1. Then average velocity v average is equal to x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t1 which is equal to delta x by delta t. The velocity of an object at any instant of time is called instantaneous velocity. For uniform motion, the average velocity of the object is equal to its instantaneous velocity. The instantaneous velocity is expressed as limit delta t tending to 0 delta x by delta t which is equal to dx by dt. We will discuss the meaning of this expression later. By the time you try to solve the numerical problems using the expression of average speed. Good luck.